Let's talk about your growing up playing football and how did all of this, how did all of this play out when you were growing up? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, start up, it started off like growing up in you know uh-huh. a single household with other other family members. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I we lived with our uncles and aunties who are living right next to us. Okay. So we grew up in Makiki part. Mm-hmm. So uh, right next to Punho, actually on Metcalf Street. And so, you know, I have a lot of first cousins that, you know, we, that l- actually live right next to each other. So, you know, growing up, you know, um, you know having older brother and a uh, younger brother uh-huh. and a few of these cousins uh, yeah. really gets you, you know, that gives you that, you know, playful, competitive, you know, <laughs> when you grow up, you kind of build that, you know, relationship and you build that sort of, uh, you know, that competitiveness. Yes. And so... You know, um, since the age of three, we started living together, you okay. know, uh, but I actually was born and raised in, uh, in Pololo. Okay. So we moved to Makiki. And so when we moved to Makiki, we, had, we ended up living with my cu- uh, near mm-hmm. my cousins and my aunties and uncles. And so, um, you know, every day we play tag, you know, every day it's either basketball or yeah. it's either football on the grass or even on the gravel. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, a lot of cuts and bruises were happening and, uh, <laughs> You know, just a lot of memories that, that uh, I had with, you know, these, you know, my cousins and, you know, yeah. my family that, you know, br- kind of instilled in me the, yes. you know. The and qualities. for everybody, that's a big thing in Hawaii, especially. Right. You know, especially when you're growing up, I think when you have big families, you're spending a lot of time with each other mm-hmm. and then you all get interested in the same activities. Yeah. Um, when did football start or what, what sports did you play growing up? You know, growing up. Of course, there's, uh, you know, there's baseball and basketball, you know, usually when you when kids start doing mm-hmm. that before football, you know, kind of, you know, doing cross training. And, uh, you know, I started with baseball at the age of four and basketball. Okay. Um, you know, I, my uncle was, uh, you know, my uncle Mungi, he was our our coach. And that's that was actually our family um, sort of uh, our family sort of, you know, club. OK. And so uh, it's called Kapulu Elise. And so okay. we kind of, you know being Kapuhulu, you kind of, you know, playing with your younger cousins and, yeah. you know, your family friends, you kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, you kind of, you know, had that connection, you kind of had that chemistry, mm-hmm. you know, learning teamwork and you kind of, you know, practice every day, you know, uh, that's what started with basketball. And so baseball, uh, you know, with, when it's year round like this, you know, right after basketball, we go right into baseball. Okay. And so with baseball, it's the same thing, Kapula Lees. And so we, <laughs> okay. same people that you play basketball with. Yeah. And so, you know, it all started with, you know, those connections with those people that I still have today. And so, okay. Yeah. And then how did you play basketball and baseball all the way through? Yeah, high all the school? way through high school. Yes. Oh, you did play. Right. You played baseball for Puna Hall too? Right. I, I did play for oh, baseball. Oh, I did not even I know I played that. one yeah. year for baseball. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Um, so when did football start for football, you? Football started in the third grade. Okay. Uh, my first year, we played for Kanye Knights. I played for Kanye Knights. Okay. And so, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, you know, coaches asking, you know, recruiting, you know, Pop Warner teams, <laughs> recruiting uh, players to come to, yep. you know, their team. So that's why I ended up at Kanye and um, played with a bunch of family members, I, you know. <laughs> and uh, that's when my uncles and aunties actually moved to Kanye. Okay. And so we wanted to always play together. And we always wanted to, you know, kind of instill that you know kind of bring up together a family that yeah. you know and start football together and so that's how i learned you know watching my older cousin and my older brother you okay. know steven and my older cousin mason and just kind of following through their steps and then the you know and then comes into fourth grade mm-hmm. uh you kind of you know the age gap between me and my brother was three years so mm-hmm. i couldn't you know play with with him that much anymore mm-hmm. and so we kind of went to uh you know jumped teams from yeah. Manoa and now we went back to Manoa and so uh you know of course with the Pop Warner recruiting you know you kind of play with new you know new teammates and you kind yeah. of you know play with people that you're actually going to go to school with now <laughs> yeah so Manoa you know since it's next to Punahou yeah. so like uh you kind of play with now you're starting to get to know the people that you're going to be playing with in the future yeah and so that's what uh as well as being with your family and so you kind of have that two you know cultures that you kind mm. of you know kind of you know learn teamwork and you kind of yeah you kind of kind of get a feel of you know different people and different mm. teammates and so from fourth grade you know and fifth grade playing in Manoa okay 
I played with Punahou guys that I still play with <laughs> and that I still had played with in high school. <laughs> yes. And then in the sixth grade and seventh grade, I went to Kalani Falcons, okay. which was another group of Punahou people that I actually played with too Got it. that recruited me to go there as well. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, the, it all started, you know, football is, you know, like to me is, you know, building relationships and you kind of, yeah. you know, kind of, you know, building your qualities that you have, you know, with, you know, with who you are yes. and you kind of get to know, you know, other people. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. And then that's what I had, you know, during my young career. Yeah. And so from that, I went to, you know, I got to Punahou in the seventh grade. Okay. That's what I was going to ask you. So seventh right. grade, you went to Punahou. Yeah. So before that, where did you go to school? I went to school at St. Patrick's. Okay. From kindergarten it. to sixth grade. To sixth grade. Yeah. Got it. And then you got into Punahou schools at seventh grade. Right. So when you were growing up with all of this sports team, because you and Steven are three years apart, right. were you ever on the same team? No. No. You, no. That was too big of a gap to too play Too big on. of a gap, yeah. yes. Yeah. So even for basketball and baseball too, you never played on the same team? No. 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 So really when you got to high school, that's when you guys started to play together a right. little bit. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. So think about, you know, it's interesting because that's kind of how it works in Hawaii. The community is so small. So it's usually like, oh, come play for this team or this right. district or yes. whatever. Yes. When you played with all of these people that you eventually played in high school with, what were some of the big things that you learned growing up right. that still sticks with you to this day? Um, well, you know, when I, you know, growing up playing with my teammates that I played in high school, they know my flaws. They know my, mm. you know, what I'm not good at, my weaknesses and my mm. strengths. Mm. And so, you know, having that chemistry of those who know your weaknesses and strengths and they call you out on it, you <laughs> yeah. know, when you make a mistake or you do a good play, you know, you kind of had that, you know, that same yeah. celebration you used to have when you're in middle school. <laughs> yes. And so, and we then we could talk about it at lunch or, or in class <laughs> or after class. And yeah. so we'd always, you know, with my teammates, you know, being my classmates, we would catch a ride, you mm-hmm. know, carpool from school to the field. Yeah. And so you kind of build that, you know, that, that chemistry that we have at, at Puno. And so that's what, uh, you know, kind of got my, you know, my career started at Puno. Yes. You know, just having friends like that, that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, been there for you. You know, it's interesting that you say that because this is a side note, but observation, because I've been around, well, obviously I played high school sports, but been around college athletics pretty much as an athletic trainer my entire career. I've experienced professional sports and that same camaraderie and teamwork and joking around, that doesn't change no matter what level you're at. (laughs) I could be in the Detroit Lions facility watching Sports Center and you're still joking the same way that you would do in like intermediate school. So that's something that I guess people don't understand why Mm -hmm. there's such a love for your team and the sports Mm -hmm. because that never goes away. Like how you Mm -hmm. said, even when you got to probably college and beyond CFL, which we'll talk about Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Like you get to know your teammates and you build this trust mm-hmm. and this sense of you're all reaching the same mm-hmm. goal. So that's, that's something that's really interesting.